Hello and uh, welcome back. I have here an uh, ICOM, it's the IC271E and it was one of my eBay finds from uh, maybe a year ago and I must say I didn't really try it right then uh, because I was busy with, with other things but here it is and we're gonna test it uh, right now uh, it's a 2 meters uh, it's uh, power goes from 1 watt adjustable to 25 watts so let's see what's uh, left over from that it is from the mid 80s so it has a few <laughs> years <laughs> uh, yeah so uh, well first it's uh, it runs by the way on 12 volts it doesn't have its own power supply because then it probably uh, has gotten a, a, a lot bigger uh, so they in, in that time the transmitters always had a separate uh, power supply uh, I'm just using my Foldcraft uh, 40 amps <laughs> should be efficient um, yeah so let's see um, I will zoom in because you can see it's dirty and then I start the cleaning first look at that isn't that beautiful uh, for me it also has a special value because uh, my dad in that time had exactly these so uh, yeah I was very happy to to find it I also have the 70 centimeters the 471 I will show you in another uh, video uh, yeah it, 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 it is a little bit dusty it uh, we can do some some cleaning you see here yeah, it's it's really yeah I would like to see it uh, differently so uh, let's clean it up uh, we test it and of course we're gonna open it up okay that looks a lot better apparently the uh, the guy was smoking i bought it from so uh, all the silver looked a little bit uh, coldish uh, well not what you like to see uh, so it uh, does look uh, a lot better now i uh, put my power supply on 13.4 well more or less and uh, let's see if it powers on Ah, it's transmitting already oh this runs so smooth this is so nice <laughs> let's put it on 144 okay i put it on 144 and we can do a transmit uh, test to see if it's uh, aligned i have got to switch it on for a while so it was able to stabilize um, we transmit what well, puts a little bit more power let's see if we put full power now almost 6 amps and on the Maconi it says 24 watts and it says 143.99975 so that is well good good enough no? uh, let's do a receiving test rxdx receiving squirrels rf gain full level and we are now this is a uh, 0.5 that is minus uh, 113 dB One, 115 okay well that is uh, sensitive for an old machine like this ah, that works um, 64 transmit test here it's also 145.99975 so maybe a little bit of adjustment but uh, that would not be a problem here it does uh, 25.7 watts that works now is the receiving here a little bit more sensitive in the 146 okay so that still works now we're gonna open it <laughs> uh, 
Oké, okay, it's open. Look at this. <coughs> yeah, it was a smoker. You can still smell the uh, cigarettes. Look at this. All the filters, all the. This is 80s technology. And uh, there are some more options. Uh, I think one of them uh, is the speech, but I'm not sure it was already in, in, in this uh, module. Um, and I think there is a sub audio because I think that didn't uh, work. I tried it here with the tone button. Of course, I never checked the uh, manual. Uh, there is here a tone button. I thought it was for the uh, for the sub audio, but I think it's not uh, in here. Uh, this tone button does uh, work. It is to open the repeaters. In that time, you had uh, 1750 hertz. And you push the button on the on the input channel of the repeater, and then it will open. It will respond with this uh, call sign in Morse, and then you know it's open, and then you can use the repeater. Um, in the bottom, <laughs> a lot more. I see there is some sort of memory board with the battery. Mm. I'm not sure. I also need to check the manual for that. There is here some sort of filter well, I don't see what it is and here is the power amplifier and that explains why the back got a little bit hot when I was transmitting and uh, that makes sense now with 25 watts which uh, is a lot uh, yeah well you have seen the inside <laughs> I will uh, close it I will not do adjustments until I have the service manual, so I will uh, find that out uh, for you. Um, and, and, and it did look uh, good enough to me, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, that's my uh, 271. Uh, yeah, we, we cleaned that, we opened it up, you had a little uh, look inside. Um, well, we did some quick tests and the uh, frequency is uh, more or less good, so that's good enough for me for now. Um, next time we're gonna do the 471, the 70 centimeters, and uh, it's gonna go back in the collection, looking a lot better. So, thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time.